June has the shortest nights of the year, but this month also features plenty to see, including the Milky Way galaxy. News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith breaks down what's going to be in the night sky. Warm nights are plentiful this time of the year, which means it's a great time to take a look at the night sky here across the Midlands. Let's talk about what you can actually see in the June night sky update. Over the past month, a lot of cloud cover, especially towards the end of May, but we did get a couple of pictures from our weather watchers, including this one from Dawn of the Crescent Moon. The moon is going to play a role in some things that you can see as you go into the month of June itself, and that's going to start off on June 14th, where we can see the moon and Jupiter in the morning sky. So this is out towards the east right before sunrise pretty easy to see and another easy thing to see is a little bit later on in the month as you go towards June 21st Venus Mars and the moon visible in our evening sky and the good thing is these planets should be pretty visible as you go through the entire month so you can see them very easily just by going outside let's talk about things so they're visible throughout the entire month of June the first being the summer triangle so this isn't a constellation like we talk about uh, pretty typically on this segment but what we call an asterism so it's an easily recognizable pattern of stars in the night sky and you can see it forms a triangle giving it the name the summer triangle this actually rises as you get towards the end of the day here in the sky so it should be visible throughout the entire night and it's actually visible through july so very easy thing to go out and take a look at you don't need a telescope to view it and another thing that's visible throughout not only this month but through the month of september is the milky way galaxy now there's a couple things you need to know about this and you need to get into a really dark location and with that it appears in the southern sky so let's take a look at this map right here this is actually light pollution across the Carolinas you can see all those higher values those reds those pinks those yellows that washes out our night sky making the Milky Way hard to see but if you head out to places like our coast like Folly Beach or Edisto you can actually see this feature in our sky in the summer months so definitely something to get out and take a look at and if you're not maybe heading out to the beach still some good stargazing conditions this week as we're expecting plenty of mostly clear to clear skies over the next seven days. If you get any photos, any videos, any questions about what we're talking about here in our night sky, you can send those in on social media through Facebook or Twitter. We'd love to hear from you guys. From the studio, I'm Design Team Meteorologist Corey Smith.